Welcome back with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. We're back in the kitchen again one more time again, guys. I want to simply say to you two weeks or three weeks ago, we did make the blue jars. Um, but basically, we want to simply say to you, we got the right thing which to use to make the blue jars. Banana leaf. We never know we could get banana leaf to buy. Uh, you could add a banana leaf online and it will come straight to you a lot of people do buy it and have it in their freezer even freeze it so it is brilliant that they can get banana leaf to do so many things because banana leaf you can use it to make jobs and also blue jars but anyway I'm gonna wanna make you some blue jars which is a Jamaican dish a lot of people in Africa uh, in the Caribbean do make blue jars some people call it in a different name in a different country but in Jamaica that's what we call it blue jars um, blue jars is like back in slavery days a lot of people used to use it when they didn't have food they used to make blue jars because it is a, a food which do fill you very quickly so blue jars make from car meal and a lot more stuff so you will see the ingredients when I'm making it so guys here it is the right stuff to make blue jars. Banana leaf. They might have said, we're a chef for cut to get banana leaf, but it's a long story about that one. Anyway, hopefully you guys like the recipe and subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, get a copy of the cookbook on Amazon, 50% off at the moment. We know a lot of people been saying, chef for cut, when are gonna come out with the next book, but not, not gonna be until 2020. So guys, enjoy it as we make blue jars with the banana leaf. Enjoy the recipe. Nice and lovely. So right now we're going to show you how to make Jamaican blue jars with the banana leaf. This is the original way almost Jamaican normally use the banana leaf and make blue jars. So first of all, I got some fine cornmeal. Cornmeal you can get that at local shop or supermarket. That's one cup, one and a half cups of fine cornmeal. Um, we're gonna use some coconut inside of it but not too much coconut we're gonna use inside of it we're just gonna use a little bit of coconut roughly about four tablespoons of coconut inside of it this is the dry coconut you can get this one in the supermarket to buy or in the local shop so roughly one two three four tablespoon of nice coconut this is the dry one all right nice one then next thing what we're gonna do we're gonna put some plain flour inside of it also which is gonna be the same amount four four spoon of plain flour uh, the plain flour is to add to all it that means it doesn't go out so this is the next mix just like that then we're gonna use some sugar um, option wise if you have your favorite sugar like some people will use granulated sugar but I normally intend to use my brown sugar which is really good for you and even much even healthier so basically, I'm gonna put half cups of brown sugar inside of it. Give it a little mix like this. Cause the brown sugar is even even better, and I'm using um, soft sugar, which is more even even better. Second thing, I have some coconut milk, which I'm gonna use also inside of it. But before we go to the coconut milk, to be honest guys, blue jars is all about spices. That's the key. So I'm gonna put roughly one pinch of mixed spice. Mixed spice, you can get that anywhere to buy. Local shop, supermarket also. Um, I got some grated nut egg. I'm just gonna put one little pinch of it not too much and also a pinch of cinnamon and a pinch of ginger also all right that's the ginger this is the 
cinnamon. All right, just under the pinch. The reason why I'm saying just under the pinch because the thing is that cinnamon is very strong and you don't want it to overthrow any other of the rest of the season and the flavor of the blue jars, all right? So just a little pinch of cinnamon because it's very strong. And also a pinch of salt, not too much. Give it a little stir. Um, blue jazz is a recipe where it's history. Um, back in Jamaica, in back in old time days, a lot of people used to use it because they didn't have food, and that's what they used to use. All right. So we're gonna add a quarter cups of coconut milk inside of it, and also what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some lukewarm water inside of it. Don't make the water boil just look warm but basically what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna simply pour it as it goes along just like what you see I'm doing right here pour a little bit more because you don't want to um, eat too soft and go too soggy so you have to really really be careful with it all right then I might use my wooden spoon Um, sometimes some people put like sweet potato and grate some yam also put inside of it so as I can see this is exactly what we are um, looking for look at that that is perfect so as you can see I didn't put a lot of water just a little bit of water just to get it like this this is definitely perfect all right then as I said, when you make, try making the original Jamaican blue jars, second thing, I got some, some of my favorite right here. This is the banana leaf. I just wash it off, um, just to get rid of some of the dirt off of it. And what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you how Jamaican normally do it. So if you get the banana leaf and just put it straight like this, What you're gonna do, you're gonna wrap it and wrap it like this, and wrap it like this. You can make some big one, yeah, depends upon the size which you want to make. All right, very easy, guys. But to be honest, then after you do that, make sure you have some card. Card is very important to tie in Jamaica. We use the same leaf, uh, same piece of string from the banana leaf. From the banana tree just to tie it tie but we're not in Jamaica so we're just using what we have and if not if it's just coming out like here all you need to do is simple get it back like this and like this just remember now we are not in Jamaica we are in London then what you're gonna do is get the card I know it's a little bit like it wanna come out, but that's the way how it go in Jamaica when I when I was a young man growing up and I used to see my grandmother make it. Then what she'd normally do, she would get it caught. And I did one the other day but I used the paper and also clean flip and file to make it. Then then we're gonna wrap it and then we're gonna get it like this and like this. This is beautiful guys, to be honest. The blue jars, alright? Not then I'll just slip nut it back again. And give it a tie. And a tie. But what I wanna simply say to you, you can cut off this extra leaf like this. It. All right. What I want to simply say to you, it is good for putting on a pot of water for it to go and boil. In the meantime, that means when this ready, I 
as soon as I finish this, then I can put in the blue jars, all right? So it's good to put on a pot of water in the meantime. So as I can see, I'm doing another one again. Make you guys see exactly. This is Jamaican favorite. A lot of Jamaican love this. To be honest, guys, a lot of Jamaican do love it. And to be honest, because I couldn't get the banana leaf before, why I didn't make it. So as I can see, right here and right here like this. I'm not making some big one. I'm just making a, a very, a very tiny, small one. Very tiny one. But as you can see, exactly what I'm at. You might have said, it's not good, but I'm telling you guys, this is the way how we make it in Jamaica. So I'm gonna make some more. Nice and lovely. So I just finished them as you can see. Done and dusted. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna show you the next step what you need to do, which is very important. All right, look at this now, guys. So as you can see, I got a medium-sized pot right here with some water filled inside of it. Start to boil. Now what you're gonna do is to get those blue jars which you're just making that banana leaf, put it straight inside of the water like this. All right. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook these for roughly about 30 minutes inside of the water. Just like that, guys. I might have said, what's your fricado I do? But that's the recipe. Because I remember this recipe back in Jamaica. All right, so we're gonna cook that for roughly about 30 minutes, or 25 to 30 minutes, inside of the water on a medium-sized heat. It's a, it's a nice recipe. You can use it for pudding. You can use it for many different stuff. So enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel as we cook the blue jars. Enjoy it. This is it right here. I just take one and cut it up and as you can see That's the way the blue jars look really nice and lovely a lot of people back in the Caribbean used to have this guys For even for their lunch for the dinner for breakfast because something 
which Jamaican do love it and he myself I eat a lot of it when I was in the Caribbean but you know what I mean it's good for when you have a lot of banana leaf and you can wrap it more even better even better but as you can see you know what I mean that's exactly what we are talking about blue jars and a lot of people do love it in slavery in back in history a lot of people used to eat it when they didn't find food and couldn't find nothing this is where they have to eat blue jars so enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel leave your comments and we did it one more time again and chef for cooking show see you next time bye bye